Welcome everybody. This is a day trader genius daily review for February 4th, 2019. I'm your host, Scott. Joining us is Coach Rob. And uh, we're here to show you that pretty much every day there are opportunities to make a significant amount of money, particularly when compared to what the banks will pay you, GICs and, uh, and uh, that sort of thing. So uh, Coach Rob, uh, what happened today? It's Monday. Yeah, it's a Monday, and Mondays can go uh, anyway. There's no predicting it. You just kind of read the market as it starts and see how it ends up. In this case, there, there was a decent amount of volume moving the market early on, but it didn't really a declaration of which direction it was going to go until that 9:36 time frame that we talk about frequently. Uh, in our trade reviews. And when I'm coaching students, I'll talk about that first five minutes. And it's just generally best to sit out of that because the fluctuations, price movement, make it really hard to get a trend that's tradable because there's just no clear direction. And so here, SPY, we're looking at that 936 moment. SPY was just kind of hovering around open in price. And when you, we use SPY as a read on the overall market, and just kind of tells us which which way the whole entire market's going to go. And those are the stronger trends. So SPY is not really making a declaration, but there are a couple of movers at this time. And we'll have some fun with, with two different trades at the same exact time. So at this 936 moment, we've got Tesla looks really strong red. So if the market is indecisive and it's not really telling you whether it's going to be a bull morning or a bear morning, you, you can go for rogues. You can start looking at rogues, let's put it that way. And a rogue stock is, is one that's just doing its own thing. It's not going with the rest of the herd. It's just kind of like veered off from the flock and it's making its own path. So in this case, Tesla is making a pretty strong solo rogue move to the red side. And this orange area with the blue line surrounding it, that is our uh, risk zone in the Trader Genius software. And if you uh, are interested in, in taking a trial, you, uh, you'll have a, an appointment with me or one of the other lead coaches, and we'll explain a lot of indicators like this. We have plenty of videos to explain the individual indicators, but suffice it to say, for the purposes of this trade review, you don't want to trade while you're in the risk zone. So once Tesla's breaking out of the risk zone and we get some confirmation that it's doing so with these nice purple volume histograms to support the move, it's a good time to buy a put. So we'll bring over our buy close buttons, buy a put. And we'll just, it already automatically takes into account the commission. So you get some pretty realistic profit and loss readings or, or gain and loss readings when you're in practice so that you can translate that to the live market. So puts are when you're making money going down. And then, so in that first minute, we were sitting at 3%. The market still had make it, made a declaration, and then you just go that one minute further, Scott, and that's a pretty healthy downward move, 32%, and it, it's smacking right into that previous low price point, as well as it had just crossed the SA and the big 305 price point with a volume spike. I'd, I'd say we could take the, the money and run on this one. I would say yeah, that's a pretty good uh, two minutes worth of hard labor. Yeah, and if you're if if you caught that one, great. There are some other exit indicators that we'll talk more about, like uh, the blue star. Now, the the market had turned in our favor, but that doesn't just because the market is supporting your move doesn't mean you have to stay in the move. You you can always take your profits and and move on. Particularly when, as you said, this was a rogue stock that wasn't moving with the market at the beginning, right? <laughs> Now, that, there's no reason to think now that it will move with the market, or there's no reason to think that it won't, but that, that is not an assumption that you can make at this point. Right. Assumption. That's a really good word, Scott. That, that's a dangerous word. Assumptions, predictions, anticipation. Those Crystal balls. Are right. You can't prognosticate. There's no fortune telling here. We don't know what the next candle is going to bring. We only know the information that's in front of us right now, and the most important uh, piece of information that we have at this moment is 32%. I, just what I was going to say. <laughs> you have 32%. That's awesome. Let's uh, yep. head to the beach. Right. And uh, that was in two minutes of work. 
So work. The <laughs> the question that I get a lot as a coach and when I'm when I have trial members, you know, I meet with them and we kind of just talk about goals and expectations. One of the biggest questions that's always out there when we talk about day trading is how much can I make? How much can I make? Well, it's it's all scalable. If you catch trends like this, which are really hard to find, these are home runs. The singles are going to be, you know, in the single digits, like five, 10 percent, something like that. That's a really nice getting on base. This is a home run that you can't bank on all the time, but I'm sure you answer the question a lot and it's all, it's proportionate. So it's how much you risk. So if you bought $10,000 worth of Tesla options in, in this mo for this move in two minutes, you just would have made $3,200 less a couple dollars in commissions. So that's, it's, it's all relative to the stake you put in, how much you're willing to risk on a trade. Uh, as far as how much you and a further to that rob one of the things that i always tell people is like how much you know you, you have to start from the end and work your you know the goal how much do you want to make in a in a month and how much do you want to make in in uh, you know in a week and then how much do you want to make in a day and we we take four days you know we do daily reviews of four of the five days that the market is open so you have a long weekend so if your if your goal is to make a you know a thousand dollars a week, then it's two fifty a day, which means today if you put a thousand dollars down you know into your trade, you you made more than that. So great, take the rest of the day off. Exactly, and and the it's the targets are important. Over time, you'll hit them. But in each micro trade, you can't force it to always give you 32%. Mm -hmm. The market's going to give you what it's going to give you. You take as much as you can at the at the low risk level, and then you move on and you find another trade that's low risk, and you can just hit your profit targets in that way. You build up to it. You don't try to do it all in one foul swoop like that double or nothing. We know that mentality always leads to nothing. Exactly. So uh, after this uh, huge move, uh, everybody just uh, left and went to the beach and there was no more trading going on. <laughs> well, we do have one later, but I, I wanted to have some fun and look at that, go back to that 936 moment, that first tradable moment. And uh, as we saw, Tesla was making a heck of a, a downward move. And this, this fella that, that comes up every week, it seems like, Scott Tilray, quite, quite a contrast in the charts here. So I, I thought it would be fun to explore what Tilray did at this moment. It wasn't quite as impressive as Tesla, but at this time you could see Tilray breaking. It's, it's out of the risk zone, which we covered first of all. It's also break, breaking a above an important resistance line here, RB, as well as an important price point. And it's getting it's getting some volume, just like Tesla was these last two two or three minutes. It had some volume support, so it's. It's got some momentum moving upward. So in this case, let's just do the exact opposite, and we'll buy a call. Stand by. Let me get my option buyer here. So let's see what happens in the same exact time frame, just moving in a different direction. Tilray had a, a similarly huge candle in the opposite way, and we do have the market going against us, as we saw with that Tesla trade. As well as Tilray is is nearing that that RC uh, resistance, and the volume could be could be a spike. Fourth candle of the trend. It's a good time to exit here with a, a decent gain of 14%. So we'll close yeah. there. So in the same exact time frame from 9:36 to 9:38, we have a dichotomy of results, both profitable, and it's really just about when when the the lesson is when the market is undecided. Look at Rogue, see which individual ticker is really moving and uh, offers you a good good profit potential. And I think uh, we should talk just for a second about, we tend to recommend doing one trade at a time. It's really difficult to be watching two trades at the same time, and particularly two that are going in the wrong direction. It's just too easy to buy a call when you meant to buy a put and to get out of the wrong one at the wrong time. That's for sure. And, you know, market conditions can, can change in a heartbeat. In this case, our, the market ended up supporting our Tesla move more than our Tilray trade because it was turning red and it continued red for a couple more minutes. So 
there's risk involved in everything, but you know, Keteris Paribus, everything being equal, if the market has not declared a direction, you can look at these stocks, but totally, totally, one at a time, just do one at a time. I guess I just wanted to illustrate in this case that you had a road going either way and you could have profited on, on either one as long as you have rehearsed your tactics and your strategy in the replay environment before you ever try them live on a trade like this. Yeah, yeah. and it's pretty cool to see two trades exactly the same length of time, both in opposite directions, giving you pretty good return on your money. Rogues, they, they always do this to you. They always surprise you. And there was one more that stayed in the green direction that I wanted to talk about, and it came at the top of the 10 o'clock hour. Uh, we had Netflix shaping up to have a nice move. And right here at 10.07, get those out of the way, at 10.07, Netflix was it was making a move. You could see from earlier in the day, it didn't really have a, a whole lot of declared direction. It was hovering around opening price. And then at the 10 o'clock hour, it started getting some volume support. And at the same time, no coincidence, it made its move out of the risk zone and uh, to the high side, looking at a bull move here. But right now at this moment, 10.07, we're right at that seven day previous high and that's a pretty powerful resistance line for any, for any stock. So you have to think of it in terms of what are the buyers and sellers out there doing. They're eyeballing that that line too, that price point to see what the stock's going to do. Maybe somebody with big pockets will, will come in and, and uh, splash this stock and push it upwards in a bull move, or it could bounce off. All we know about resistance lines before the stock hits it is that something's going to happen. Some behavior change is likely to happen. At that point, I just call them sticky lines, and that could be with sticky like RA or the risk zone, but also these previous high price points. So let's move forward uh, one more minute just to get some confirmation. Okay, so in that minute, we did pretty convincingly break above that previous high. So if that's the case, and we're convinced, we're looking at a green move, so we'll buy a call and see how high she runs. Within those first two minutes, we're at 5%. That's a pretty good gain. And in, in the middle of the trade, you can you can see what your next resistance line is, how far you have to go in uh, dollars and cents. So pretty good room to run. We don't have a lot of big price points stopping us. So we'll just keep going and see how far she goes. And right there, you're sitting at 12%. Uh, it's pretty darn good and it doesn't look like there's much end in sight the only downside is we've lost our volume support and if we move forward one more minute okay now we're getting a little bit of volume returning but we've got that blue star which there are a number of ways that the blue star could take this but in this case it appears to be an exit signal so let's get out with our 18 percent profit correction 17.6 the system will round up for you and yeah, in just four minutes, 17.6%, not bad. That's a pretty awesome day. We have Tesla where we got a put in two minutes, we made 32% in uh, Tilray in the, the same two minutes, basically 14%. And then Netflix in, uh, took twice as long to get to 17.6, but uh, I don't, I think four minutes is, uh, is not unreasonable to be able to get that type of return. Pretty darn good. <laughs> so awesome day. Uh, you know, thank you very much, Coach Rob, for uh, for coming on board and sharing this with uh, me and everybody else. And any last words before we sign off for the day? Yeah, just uh, when the market's not giving you a clear direction, you need to have strategies and and trading processes rehearsed and tested before you ever try rogue stocks like this. So practice, practice, practice. Don't take any strategy to the live market unless you've practiced it in a replay simulator and proven it effective and made, made the little adjustments when there's no risk to your actual trading account. Great, great advice. <clears throat> Our goal today, is, as every day, is just to show you that there's opportunities to make significant returns on your money using stock options. And we have a lot of exclusive uh, math and uh, indicators behind the scenes that uh, give us, we believe, a leg up on uh, on our competition 
out there, which is of course the people that are buying calls when we're buying puts and buying puts when we're buying calls. And uh, if you're interested in finding out more, uh, get a hold of us. We have a 10 day trial and we're not, uh, we're really committed to your success. So we're not just gonna like throw you to the wolves. Here's your 10 day trial, go away and come back when you're ready to join. We put you with a coach. Coach Rob is uh, probably gonna be the, the person that you'll be dealing with or Coach Jay. And uh, we show you how to be successful. And, and then we show you how to practice. We show you how everything works. And then you can make an informed decision. So our goal here is just to show you that there's opportunities. Our software and our training and our strategy will help uncover those opportunities. And there's always risk, but uh, the, most of the risk comes from greed or fear. And that's in your mind not in our software or trainings and uh, and it's a pretty good ride and it's a lot of fun when you're when you're making this type of money so hopefully you'll join us uh, if and we'll see you next time bye bye